What if we just asked what it's like to be white? I don't really know how, what it means really to be white or what it's supposed to mean. I guess I never really thought about it, but it was always kind of a negative thing. When I ask students what it means to be white, what I hear from them is a lot of confusion. The question, what does it mean to be white, um, it's, I, I, it baffles my mind. I don't know what it means. Whiteness isn't something we think much about, and in some ways, that makes perfect sense. In terms of white culture, it's very general and very vague. Like I think like hmm, sitting down and having dinner with my family, but all cultures do that. Because when you're part of a dominant group, you're not forced to spend a lot of time thinking about how you fit in or about how your privileges as a member of the dominant group might affect others who don't belong to it. In order to express ourselves, we don't have to fit into black culture, Hispanic culture, Asian American culture. We can just kind of do what we want. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just. This doesn't mean that all white people have it easy or that there aren't differences between the struggles of poor and working class white kids who have to work for everything and rich white kids who have things handed to them. Of course, those differences are real. But none of that changes the fact that throughout the history of this country, being white has been far easier than not being white. Oh, God, I love being white. I really do. Seriously, if you're not white, you're missing out because this is thoroughly good. It, and, but let me be clear, by the way, I'm not saying that white people are better. I'm saying that being white is clearly better. Who could even argue? If it was an option, I would re-up every year. Oh, yeah, I'll take white again. Absolutely. I've been enjoying that. I'm going to stick with white. Thank you. And let's face it. There's no denying that white people in the U.S. have had privileges throughout history that people of color simply haven't. Consider the very first law passed by Congress after ratifying the Constitution, the Naturalization Act of 1790, which said that free white persons and only free white persons could become full citizens of this country. Basically, our very first law as a constitutional republic gave white immigrants privileges that black people and immigrants of color and indigenous Native North Americans weren't given, all of it based purely on skin color. And whether we want to acknowledge it or not, this kind of systematic white privilege and race-based favoritism is built into the very foundations of the country.